Okay, for question number two, we're looking at summarizing the frequency, the total dollars spent and the amount spent, the mean amount spent per transaction for each day of the week. So let's figure this out and then you can discuss the observations you can make about this business based on the day of the week. Now, when we do this, you wanna come back to your spreadsheet. Um, as mentioned in the first video, go ahead and put a filter on so you can look at um, the different days of the week. This helps you to just narrow down time ranges and that sort of thing. But let's jump right into the first one. So summarizing the frequency. All right, to summarize the frequency, let's do a pivot table. So insert pivot table. And let's put day of week. And frequency I take as in the number of times they viewed the pages. So um, that would be your frequency. If you want to put this into a um, uh, bar chart or some sort of chart, you go to insert recommended charts. You can also go over here and just go ahead and select the type of chart you want. If you want maybe a bar chart or a line chart, you can do that. I like going to recommended charts because it already picks it up for you, which one they think um, will be the best. And then now that you have this, um, I would actually change this to look at frequency summary or something like that. And you can see then the frequency per day. <clears throat> you can come in and add um, data labels that will let you put the total number per day. So that corresponds back to our pivot table. They're, on Sunday, the pages were viewed 21 times, on Monday, 58 times, and you can see that down here. Then you can also go back to your um, chart. Let's see here. We have this, oh, format. Once you're in, nope, that's not it. <laughs> Once you have your chart designed, you can go up here and then you can change colors again if you want to. Um, you can make it, you know, basically any way you want it to look. Um, and you even have these different options if you want to get fancy. So that gives you the first piece, the frequency. Now let's look at the total dollars spent. And again, we're doing this by day of the week. So let's do another pivot table. We're gonna do day of the week, total spent. And here you have it. Now you can still come back in and do your insert recommended charts. And there you have a new one. Don't forget to change your title. This one would be um, total dollar spent. And if you want to add the um, data labels, just add those there. Sometimes that gets a little bit messy. So I will caution you with adding data labels when it's dollar amounts, because it is a little bit messy. Um, I'll leave that up to you. If you want those there or not, you can either keep them or you can remove them. Totally up to you what you wanna do. But if it does look messy, you know, go for aesthetics and make sure that the, the managerial report is easy to read in addition to aesthetically pleasing. All right, so let's take a look at the next one. The mean, am mean amount per transaction for each day. So we already have this table designed, which is the total amount spent. Now we can just come in here and look at the mean amount. All right, so mean is the same thing as average. So you can change that to average and you'll notice it automatically changes it for you. So um, again, this gets pretty messy. You can come up here and tell it to, um, you know, change the places after the decimal. Um, you can even put it to a whole number that helps to make it less messy. And then you can also add the dollar amount there. Um, so there we go. That would be your mean amount spent per day of the week. Now with these three different tables, you can put them together in your managerial report and then discuss the observations based on Heavenly Chocolate's business 
on the day of each week.